Hello all, Shoestring here. I had this product recommended to me, and after looking at it and testing it, I thought it deserved to be recommended to you. So what this claims to be is a 10 watt solar panel charger and maintainer. Now, what I like about this piece is it is all in one. It has an MPPT charge controller inside the device itself. So you don't have to connect it to a charge controller. You don't have to mess with wires. You don't have to do all the stuff that goes along with having a charge controller and a solar panel connecting it to your battery. Now, I want to point out, this says it's 10 watts which is actually pretty good for just a maintainer or trickle charger. But when I tested it, I got between 12 and 13 watts when I was testing it. And if you look at it on the back, it says 15 watts. So I'm officially saying 10 because that's what the product is advertised as. But I want to point out it says 15 watts. And I got more than 10 when I tested it. Okay? And it's under $70. So normally, around $70 from this, I wouldn't say for a shoestring channel. But for this one itself, considering everything it does, I actually think it's a good price. And you don't have to do, as I said, the charge controller, the wires. Everyone goes nuts with that stuff. And this makes it much easier. So, what can you do with this? Well, like I said, it's a maintainer, mostly. But since it can go to 12, it can actually charge up a battery that has got that has some used out of it. I know people that use them for chicken coops, barn lights, and all types of things. You can use this in your car, in your RV. If you have a solar battery out somewhere, and you just want to keep it maintained after you charged it up, or only used it a little bit, this would be great for that. It has very long wire and it has an SAE connection. The wire feels quite firm and if I didn't mention it before, this is very well constructed. It looks nice and it feels like it's solid and that's always important. Now, it says it's made by Grow Po, I guess you'll call it. And it's sold by Alto. I'll put a link down in the description where you can go look at this and see if it's something that you're interested in. Give you a quick look at the manual because I like to do that. As you can see, it says it's a charger maintainer. It says 15 again here. It has a light up here. You can't see it at the moment because I don't have it activated. But it will show you with the, let me show you the manual right here. And it'll tell you what color the lights become when they're working. Right now, there isn't any sun where I'm at. So when you first get it out of the box in the sun, it will just be slow flashing green. Just say that its sun is shining, but it's not active, which means it's not charging this. Once you plug it in, it will turn red. And from there, it will stay red until it gets charged up. Okay, which is green, always bright, which I'm sure that means always on, which means it's fully charged. Let you look at a few other the, here real quick. And that way, when you get a chance, you can look at it slowly on your own. Okay, next, I'm going to show you what came with it. Another bag, set this up here. So... What we got is these alligator clips, which connects to the SAE connector, which is real nice because I have a lot of SAE connectors on my own equipment. These go together. You also get, which I think is also neat, a cigarette lighter connector. If you want to put this into your car, your RV, your boat, what do you have? Shoestring doesn't have boats or RVs, but you might. And the last piece 
that's a connector, is still an SAE connector, then simple bare wires. If you actually wanted, right, to use this connector in an actual charge controller, which I think is pretty neat. Now, how about setting it up, all right? It gives you, get them out here, four suction cups. Positioned right here, where you can put them in, right? And just put it in a good position. Then you can put this in a window. Put it in a window, put it on a fence. It says it's waterproof. I don't know if I'd dunk it in the water or not. But it says it's waterproof, so don't feel bad. Or like you can't leave it out in damp areas, because I would do that. All right? So anyway, it also says, by the way, it will do all types of batteries. I've only had it connected to lithium batteries and uh, AGM batteries, which it did quite well on. Not sure about the other ones. Besides, the paperwork says it will. So we'll just go ahead and believe that it will. Okay? It does say it has smart three-stage charging. Allows you to charge the battery quickly and safely. So we like the, uh, the three stages of charging. Not all chargers have that. It's plug and play. I mentioned that before, but it's very important for this piece of equipment that is plug, plug and play. Because like I said, the big deal not using the charge controller or uh, all the wiring that has to go with it. And you don't have to program the charge controller. It has a 12-month warranty, which is for $70. Pretty good. Okay, I wanted to show you how well this actually worked. Here I am undercover, in case you can't tell. I'm on an enclosed porch. And there's just a little bit of sunlight out today, mostly cloudy. And the light is blinking, which means, if you remember what the manual said, it's getting sufficient sun to charge, but it is not activated. So we're going to take our connectors here. We're going to go ahead and put them together. Then we're going to hook solar panel to the battery. Red, black. Then it turns to blinking red. And if you remember, that says it is now charging the battery. My last test was about 12 to 13 watts. And that's inside this enclosed area. If you took it out to the sun and actually set it up, where you could see a good angle to the sun. Okay, so as you can see, blinking red, which means it's actually charging the battery. And once again, I want to point out I'm in an enclosed area, and there's not very much sun outside. It is a cloudy day, and it is still doing its job. It's connected to this AGM battery. So imagine if you could take it and actually had it where the sun was hitting it really well, you might get 14 or 15 watts out of this thing, which I think is really good for something that's just calling itself a maintainer. So I've taken a look at this. I've used it some, and it was recommended to me, and I will recommend it to you. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it, and shoestring 